Hey everyone. So a, a couple of days ago, I did a video about seeking first the kingdom of God and then, you know, God promising to take care of, you know, the other concerns that um, we normally get, get anxious about. And today I just want to kind of continue with that with that theme of, um, of seeking God. And I want to start, I want to read from Second Chronicles chapter 26, verse 5. And it says, he set himself, and, it, and he in this case is um, Uzziah, which is one of the, was one of the kings of Judah. And it says, he set himself to seek God in the days of Zechariah who instructed him in the fear of God. And as long as he sought the Lord, God made him prosper. So I, I think this is just one example. I think there are a lot more um, out there in the Bible that, um, that suggests that when you seek God and seek him consistently, that good things tend to happen for you. And, uh, you know, not meaning there's not going to be bad times, but, you know, when there are, you'll have that peace and that strength to get through the tough times. But on, you know, in the same understanding, you know, if you don't, if you're not seeking God and you're, you forsake God, then the Bible also shows a lot of examples of um, showing us that there can be a lot of destruction in your life if you choose to take that path. So thinking about that, I was, I, it kind of brought up thoughts about our country. Um, and I think we're at a pivotal time in, in America right now. You know, I, I think, you know, our country's struggling because we've chosen to push God aside as a country. You know, we're not really seeking God and, um, you know, our, our country was, you know, I believe was a gift from God built, you know, on, on the word of God and, and a blessing from God, you know, a light in, in the darkness of, of the world. And, uh, unfortunately, I think today, you know, a lot of our leaders are, are lost, um, and more concerned with, you know, the power and control and, um, and the money more than, more than God, more than acknowledging God and putting God first. And, um, you know, that's been the case, I guess, a lot throughout history, but I'm, I'm, I think now into, in, in society today, we've kind of reached a, a new level with this. Um, it just seems to me. Now, knowing that, I mean, we really, I guess, have to remember, you know, as, as Christians, we, we don't really have direct control over the attitude and behaviors of, of those leaders or of others. But, you know, we, we do need to remember to do our part, um, make sure we're, we're seeking God and we're loving others. And, and I would say, too, um, you know, a lot of times Christians don't really want to get involved in politics or other things. And, and I get it. Um, it's, 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 it's a dirty world uh, out there in, in those areas, it seems. But I think just getting involved, if, if we all just got involved um, as Christians where we can, just to, you know, make our voices known and, you know, whether it's, you know, getting on your, your school board or getting involved with your local elections. Um, I, I think that can do a lot of good. And just, you know, uh, I think pray, pray, and, and keep praying, you know, for, for our country, for our leaders, and, and for the lost souls in the world. And, um, and trust God. You know, we, we just need to remind ourselves that, that God is in control. You know, God... We, we put our trust in him and his plan and timing and, and whatever that is, you know, it's, it's going to be perfect. So I hope that, um, I, I, you know, I know a lot of people today are, are getting anxious about, about uh, kind of the direction our country's going. So I, I hope that that helps um, alleviate a little bit of, 
of the anxiety and, and maybe even anger with that. So I'm going to end in prayer, Lord. I'm going to pray right now. Those, those folks guiding this country, Lord, pull on their hearts, pull them closer to you. Um, help them, help them take the blinders off. Help them understand that, that you are in control and you are to be worshiped and you are to be put first, Lord. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.